Hey guys, welcome to the 2016 Albuquerque Home and Garden Show. We're here, uh, I'm Nevin with Distic. We're here doing demos all weekend long. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Distic is actually this construction here. We custom make them any way you want. These particular ones are demo using demos. Have chilies and geckos on it, just have pottery. We custom make the Distic any way you want it. Uh, we're going to do mostly disc demos on the disc and showing you how to do different things. Uh, we also have a cooking show that shows you how to do some of these demos as well. So if you'd like to visit our website or our YouTube channel, you can see all that. Uh, we're also mixing up a little bit as disc it. We also manufacture many other things as far as the cooking. So along with our disc it, we have our vertical smoker that we just finished up a uh, smoke cedar plane smoke salmon oil. We know the other as well. Uh, behind us we'll be using what we call the auto machine. This is a custom deal that we built for uh, uh, New York Life Insurance here in town. This has an eight burner grill. It's got two uh, swing out distance on the front and a vertical grip on the middle. It also has a uh, securable lock for the instruments. Stainless steel fabrics on the front, the running water, and the electric jugs, that kind of stuff. Behind me we have what we call Air Force One. That's our personal custom catering system. We've got leather seats inside and air conditioning. Uh, most importantly, we also have two smokers on the back, a new burner grill, uh, two of the burners are running, uh, two vertical smokers on the back, and we have two three out discs as well. So, uh, us at Disket, we actually custom build pretty much anything you want. Being as part of the Home and Garden Show, we want to build, bring you different cooking demos, ranging anything from discs to grilling to smoking to, to that kind of thing. Uh, today, we're very, very honored to have the Mr. Phil Apodaca with Phil's Gourmet Sauce. Uh, you can get uh, all the products we're showing here this afternoon inside uh, at the Disney booth or out here. We're selling uh, these rubs and sauces, some of my favorite things ever. And uh, we will also be selling Phil's stuff, Phil's rubs and sauces at the Disney store here in Albuquerque. So, Phil, welcome to turn it forward to you. Thank you. Hey, Nevin, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> I'm stealing uh, his rubber. Today, we have some hot wings going on it. Uh, they're just basic wings that have a new hot wing rub. Uh, it's a great rub. It's got a little spice to it. So if you like a little spicy, it's great. You don't really need a sauce with it. Uh, just straight up grilled wings. And you, there's several ways you can grill the wings. You can grill them throughout on the grill or you can grill them part way if you don't want to wash them. Put them on a baking sheet and then throw them in the oven for 15, 20 minutes. That kind of saves your trips back and forth. For it works. It's kind of nice when you're in a rush. Uh, you just want to make sure they cook through, you know, about 160, 170 degrees. Once you start seeing some, some of the clear uh, fat cooking through there, then they're just about done. So pretty much all, all I do is I get the rub, put it on there, it stays on there for about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so you let it marinate? Let it marinate for about 15, 20 minutes. You're going to be out there in the grill, you can use just a little thumb, four minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, and then just keep reducing it as they cook more. Oh, so you're constantly cooking. And then, you know, just make sure they're, they're done, you know, at that last flip there. I like to, because my, my turn about is four minutes, and then like one beer, and then another beer. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> That's the best drink. What works is, the reason I'm not like that, so it's not that good. So you work just four minutes? Just make sure minutes, you have a lot of beer. A lot of beer? Yeah. And that for that time. Or not too many friends. Yeah. So, so you're using the grill. So I got I got the auto machine here. I got the grill going. Uh, right now we'll mix some wings. Yes, I do a lot of wings, so I go to a lot of uh, so this is kind of my shaker, that's the other shaker. Can you teach me how to select how to select the right things? You go to the first school, it's the best school. I can try and teach you that. <laughs> uh, no. Pretty much wings are pretty standard. There's, if you like organic wings or just the Tyson wings, or, the wings are wings. You, know. you can probably use uh, turkey wings if you want, uh, turkey thighs, turkey breasts, yeah, whatever you kind of like. But pretty much. We also cook wings on the biscuit as well. Again, we're just trying to show people different things other than just the biscuit. So pretty much all I'm doing is getting this in this pan and I'm going to coat them. Uh, this is a kind of a large pack of wings, so you'll probably use at least half of one of these. And if you use a smaller pack, the half pack will make use a little bit less. But you want to coat them real nice. And then 
it just, you know, just put it in there, move the wings around. So for a very in 20 minutes, that just something to play with over time? Yeah, it just seems to, the, because of the seasonings in here, there's a lot of seasonings and they're a little bit coarse, so that time, it gives it time to kind of go up and get in there. Now, for chicken wings, do you want to either mix them or dry them, or just sort of the them? You can rinse them. Now Phil also sells many other, uh, not only does he have the rubs, but he has several different uh, barbecue sauces. He's got the honey apple, the hot honey apple, the pomegranate, the uh, chipotle. Uh, honey apple, honey apple hot. Do you may feel that the, doing the uh, fiery food show about five years ago? I guess? Five, six years ago. And I've never been one for barbecue sauce a lot because a lot of times to me a barbecue sauce just completely covers up all the all the flavors of the meat. So this is kind of just how well you cook. Started coming out with rubs and huh? The yeah, he's got he's got uh, fajita seasoning. He's got the hot chicks, which is more of his wing rub seasoning. Uh, the fajita is actually a hike up your skirt rub, is what they call that. Any help? Help one or help eating them? Help both. <laughs> These have been on the grill. Some are crispy, some are. A lot of crispy, you know, grills are different all the way through. Some on one side, you have both sides, so, you know. And everybody likes a crispy one or one not so crispy.